So I think this should do well, honestly. Because instead of winning a cash prize, you can earn passive income. You deploy your model, and then you keep generating income over time. So as a data scientist, this is really attractive, in my opinion. All time high was like $52 back then. It pumped back after 2017, but like the market was in a downward trend. It was the bear market. Then they reached the all time high that was greater than the first time, which is a good indication that something is going well. Hi, friends. Welcome back to the show. Today, I'm going to share with you a project that may not be on your radar anymore. And the reason why is because this specific project came out last cycle. AI wasn't really that sticky. It wasn't as hot of a narrative as it is today. I talked to Patrick about this project called Numeri. And you guys know, if you've been watching any of my previous videos, Patrick has been looking at AI for quite some time. He's done a lot of research. He's broken down all the different types of AI models. And he seems to be very interested in Numeri, uh, specifically as it ties to the time series model. So I'll jump into the interview with Patrick so you can understand why he's so interested in Numeri. Before I do, just want to give you a big thank you. I have 549 subscribers, which to many of you may not seem like a lot, but it has definitely been a grind and I certainly appreciate you uh, tuning in, your passion for the industry, your curiosity uh, is definitely the reason why this channel continues to grow. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for tuning in and I'll keep the content coming. With that in mind, let's jump right in to my interview with Patrick, AKA Crypto Rookies. So I do like uh, Numerai, and uh, the reason is because clearly this was created by data scientists because uh, everything that they write, they know what they're doing. So it's basically kind of a, Kaggle is very popular for data science, uh, but that's a centralized kind of a system where company can upload their data and then they have an army of data scientists all over the world that compete on the cash prize who can get the best prediction on the on the da on the data set so uh i think this is kind of managed by google but it's really popular in data science and numeri is basically the same thing but in a decentralized uh, fashion and right now they are doing a, a competition to predict the stock market as you can see any kind of data scientist can go and compete. There's a thousand, more than a thousand data scientists that are competing right now on this. The, the average return is 32% for the past year, but some of those people are much higher than that. So uh, basically you can buy some NMR token and go stake them on these people. And then that means that you're basically putting money into production on uh, on making returns on the stock market, but using the model that was created by those data scientists. Mm. And I think that, that's very risky to put it in just one person. So you, you could maybe make a small portfolio uh, and stake your NMR token into many of the, those people that are in the top, uh, maybe 30 or something like that. Is there any incentive to stake your tokens in somebody that is not doing well? It's just that uh, sometimes it didn't do well for maybe because of outliers and think maybe the model would do well in certain conditions. But for me, I would probably keep to the top 30 people, I guess. What's this uh, application? Well, what's it running on? Uh, I guess it's their own proprietary system. And we, we, we had the story last, uh, last time about which topic in AI would be good uh, to, to consider. So my infographic here. I would put that uh, Numeri would fit probably in the time series kind of data here. It's probably between compute and uh, decentralized application. I don't know where they keep storage of the data itself. It might be that it's all three layers that is managed by a Numeri. I'm not, that part I'm not sure yet. But would but it have to be a there. decentralized solution in, that, in their particular case? I believe it is, yes. And they, uh, the thing is, all of the loss function, like if you look at their white paper, it, it's it's built to incentivize the reduction of the loss so that you don't overfit the models and all that stuff. So 
to, to me, it, it should be decentralized enough. And regardless, it's, it's similar to Kaggle, which uh, I've used in the past. And most data scientists in the world, uh, sometimes they have a full-time job and they compete outside of their day job. They're running some competition on Kaggle. So I think this should do well, honestly. Because instead of winning a cash prize, you can earn passive income. You deploy your model and then you keep generating income over time. So as a data scientist, this is really attractive in my opinion. Is is there is there token trading on any exchanges? Yeah, the, the, there's lots of markets. And before we get to the market, to where it's traded, you can see that uh, they launched right uh, before the market crash in 2017. So they, that kind of made them suffer. But the all time high was like 51, uh, like $52 back then. It pumped back after 2017, but like the market was in a downward trend. It was a bear market. Then they reached the all time high that was greater than the first time, which is a good indication that something is going well. And the, the all time low uh, was greater than the previous all time low like in that period of time. So I think those are both both a good indication that maybe this time around we'll hit another all time high. Uh, and I think the fully, dil the fully diluted market cap, uh, it's high, but not exaggerated. It's, it's below a billion, it's in 372 million. And the market cap in circulation is 210. All of that doesn't really uh, strike me as overpriced compared to what they are doing. Okay, so in terms of uh, where it's traded, it's pretty much everywhere, Binance and yeah, tons of different places. Mm. I don't think we'll see massive pumps from more listing at this point. I think it's been around since 2017, so it's pretty mature. So this time around, assuming we have more capital in the market and the all-time high is broken again, by how much? Let's say two times to be a bit more conservative, I guess. But I think AI, I think, is a good narrative this time around. So. Yeah, I'll I'll stick to maybe three times the, this, and right now we're at uh, thirty four dollars. So this price divided by thirty four, we're looking at uh, yeah probably more than a ten x. So I think I'll put some capital into this one. Uh, I, I do like it. It looks very legit to me. They know what they're doing, and uh, I think Kaggle is a very successful. Uh, project. As you can see, there's 300,000 data set that uh, data scientists can compete against. So your biggest uh, <clears throat> reason for thinking that this is legitimate is because of the resemblance between Numerai and Kaggle, right? But it's just looking at their website, everything they, that is written clearly, the they're real data scientists. It's it's pretty obvious from the write up. It's not just slapping a keyboard and not understanding the technology. They really know what they're doing. And the, the, I think the white paper has skimmed through it, but it, it, they clearly know what they're doing, in my opinion. The thing on Kaggle, you have more than seventeen million people who have participated on those da on those data science challenge. So right now, on uh, on this one, there was like a thousand data scientists. So th I think there's lots of room to grow to uh, more than 10,000 probably, as it gets more popular.